I am Melissa Wise, a third grade virtual teacher. This internet safety presentation is to inform you, the parent, about the internet and how to maintain a safe environment for your child and others. It is not a hard task to accomplish, sort of like crossing a busy street safely. There are a few common sense things you must know to proceed safely. The purpose of this presentation is provide practical information for parents, present safety tips, provide some statistics of internet safety, and provide parents with some resources for further research on the topic. The Nets and Terra booklet is provided by the federal government and it encourages everyone to stop, think, and click. As parents, you need to be in the know. Terms used to talk about the internet can be confusing. The booklet has a glossary of internet terminology that would be useful. I would suggest accessing this booklet. It is free and the link is provided at the end of the, um, of the presentation. It provides some really helpful information. There is a lot of safety information available, some good and some bad. A good place to start is the OnGuard online website. We have that link also posted on the um, end of this presentation. Two keys <clears throat> to internet safety. Talk with your child. Start early. Create an honest and open environment. Start the conversation by using teachable moments. It is important that your child understands that once they click the send button, the picture or whatever they have sent, shared, will be online forever. They have created a digital footprint. Communicate your values. Keep the lines of communication open. Ask your child to think about something that they really, really wanted last year and ask them how they feel about that now. Talk about how we all have likes and dislikes that change over time. It is important to start early and start when your child is young and keep the lines of communication open. Listen to your child. Create an open environment where your child is comfortable talking to you. Let your child know what is important to you and what is important not in what is acceptable and not acceptable. It is important your child knows to sh not show too much or share too much. Here is a short video that gives five tips for internet safety that you could go over with your child. Here are five internet safety tips for kids. Number one, don't give out personal information, such as home address, school name, or phone number. Number two. Never send pictures to strangers. Number three. Keep passwords private, except from parents. Number four. Don't download anything without permission. It may contain a virus that can harm your computer. And number five. Tell an adult if you receive a mean or strange message. For more tips, visit us at commonsense.org. There is a lot of research to show many variables of kids on the internet. Let's look at a few statistics. 70% of kids encounter some form of online misconduct while doing homework research. 17% of kids between the ages of 8 and 12 received messages that made them feel uncomfortable and only 7% of their parents were aware of it. 65% of kids between 8 and 14 have encountered cyberbullying. 36% of girls and 31% were boys. 16% of high school students have thought about suicide because of cyberbullying. 75% of kids share personal information online in exchange for something. Finally, it is hard to keep our kids safe 24-7. With the constant influx 
of technology at our fingertips. Be in tune with your child's emotional state of mind. Be sure they are using measures to protect their identity by moderating their digital footprint. Be aware of your child's interactions with others. Most importantly, keep the line of communication open. Here are some resources to give you a little more information and insight on internet safety for your child. Please take the time to read and listen to the information.